Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to come out here and talk about the whole Joe Budden and Sin Santana situation, okay? So as you guys all know, Love and Hip Hop New York is back on and Joe Budden is acting like he like this is his show. He's the one narrating and doing voiceovers and everything else. And he's been able to basically rebrand himself from being this washed up rapper to, you know, being a podcaster. He's on the new Revolt show on YouTube. So he's doing his thing. And because he's doing so much, it's keeping him busy. So so much so that he's just not interested in sex with Sin Santana. Sin, who is his baby's mother, um, she's upset. She feels like, you know what, what is it? Is it because I gained weight? Why is he not into me? You know, what's going on? So the whole premise of this first episode was basically Sin trying to set up some romantic time at a hotel, at the one of his podcast events. She wanted to get it in. She wanted to, you know, do some stuff with him. And he just wanted to go home. You know what I'm saying? He's just saying that he's just not into sex. He just wants to be there for her and the baby. He has too much on his plate. This little dry spell that we've been having is gonna end tonight. I have the perfect plan in place, and I can't wait. I figured since we're in the city already, why not get a room at a beautiful hotel? And we could just spend the night and have some sex. Something. I want to do that at home. I just want to go home. If we don't go to the hotel room, you're going to fall asleep at home, and I'm not getting anything. So I don't figure that out. Not at all. I'm in a car. No, we're busy. I'm Bye. I'm leaving the car to get in the bike. I'm trying to get some Let's let him go. Thank you. Wonderful. What is it? Am I, what, what's, what, you don't like this? Like, what? What is it? Put it up right here and, and ask, hey, who wants some well, And everybody, and everybody will be like, me. You're a parent. She will, she will, the driver, everybody. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Everybody will f me right now. We have a job, and we have a five month old baby. So, yeah, we're not getting it on, and you know what I mean? Like we used to, but that's okay. Honestly, she's just being a little immature about the situation. I want to know how he thinks it makes me feel to practically have to beg my man for some sex. I'm already having a hard time adjusting to my new body after giving birth, and now he's making me feel worse. I can't even believe this I know, is happening but, right I now. I know, but talk to me. What? You not having sex with me does not make me feel sexy, and I want to feel sexy, and I want to feel like a woman again. Like, I'm trying to get back to me and back to us, and you're not doing that. You're not trying to help. The hotel is not the problem. The timing. Timing is the problem. Timing is always Let me the finish. Problem. Let me finish what I'm saying. Before I go and pop myself, I should sit here and listen to what you have to say, right? Well, now this morning he called into the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club was talking about this. And um, Charlemagne, the God, was saying the same thing, that he hasn't had sex with his wife in a while. Who knows? You know, if he's not fucking her, who knows who he's fucking? You know what I mean? Anyhow, he claims he hasn't had sex because he's busy. They called Joe Button on the line. And Joe Button basically says that if he never has sex again with Sin Santana, he'd be okay with that. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these clips. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Get it. I haven't had sex uh, in months, and I haven't thought about it. Why don't you want to have sex, Joe, every night? Why Whoa, not? Whoa, envy. <laughs> well, not with me. You know what I mean. Listen, if, if, if I if I had if I never had sex again, man, I'd be okay. Oh my God, that's I'm, terrible. What are you talking, Joe? Where's sin? Can we talk to sin for a second? Well, first of all, no. Joe, you got no you got to know dating a twenty five year old. You don't have 26. that luxury. She's twenty six. Twenty six year old. You don't have that luxury. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Joe, I'm trying to ride this. I'm trying to ride this toddler thing. As long as Joe, I Joe, that's not fair to Sin, though. Oh, my God. That's Listen, not fair man. to her. She wants to have sex with you. She wants to be desirable. You know a woman's sex drive goes up, a man's sex drive goes down. If worse come to worse, just eat it and put her to sleep. Don't you care about how she feels? Oh, my God. I hate when women do that. Of course I care about how she feels. <laughs> Yeah, you know, women always want to bring up their feelings. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Joe, you have to know that these mumble rappers is plotting on sin right now. Especially <laughs> all these mumble rappers you be barking on, they plotting on sin right now, knowing that you're not sleeping with her, sir. They they DMing her. They they DMing her probably. Mm -hmm. No, listen, me and me and my baby gonna be all right. I I think this gets a little more intricate over the following weeks. Where uh -oh. don't just paint me as the gay guy, but. 
The gay guy? Who said that? You, you said you were the gay guy. Where did that come Wait from? Wait a minute, Joe. You had the gay rumors 15 years ago. This Where did they come from? Nobody right? has those rumors now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. You those brought it up. Things. No, no. Well, well. What's the what's the proper term? Uh, incompetent or whatever. The erectile whatever. dysfunction. You have erectile dysfunction. Uh, no, but y'all impotent. Not, no. impotent. It, it, impotent. I mean, impotent. Yes. Impotent means you can't get hard. You can't get hard. Joe. That's erectile you, dysfunction. You need a pill. No, I don't need a pill, but they're fun sometimes. No, Joe, just, are you telling us that? Yeah, <laughs> Joe, are you telling us that all those years of hard drug use have caught up to you at thirty eight, and now you can't get hard? And I felt you when you said. Why go to a hotel when we got a house? We can go home. I got on. Why? Because all he's going to do is fall asleep. I don't want to check into no hotel at 10, 30, 11 yeah. o'clock. Yeah, we pay a lot of money for, for a beautiful home. We should be there. All right. Well, Joe, we're going to let you go. You, you, you go wake up sitting right now. Y'all mm -hmm. have sex. Envy, en thank you. Thank you for the great relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. All right. So you guys just heard what Joe Button had to say. And in my personal opinion, this is not a good look. Um, I'm scared for sin. You know what I'm saying? Sin, you in danger, girl. I think the baby mama syndrome has now kicked in, okay? I think what it is is that basically Joe got what he wanted from sin, which is a beautiful black and Latina child. And now that he has his beautiful son, he's just not that much into sin. Now he's basically looking at her like a baby mama, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not normal for him to not want to be with her, you know what I'm saying? And I understand that sometimes, you know, people have different moods mood swings and you know things happen people get busy but you have to make that special time for each other no matter how busy you get you have to make that special time granted relationships are not just about sex okay there's more things to a relationship but that is a big part of a relationship and if one person feels like they're not getting it or they're feeling like you know they're not being valued or that person's no longer attracted to them or no longer wants to be with them sexually they're going to start looking elsewhere and that's the part that kind of makes me nervous because sin is a young woman pretty girl you know what i'm saying but she's very immature and the way she was acting on the show and all that screaming you know she wants to fuck me and she wants to fuck me and if i gave him the pussy he would fuck me like she was just doing way too much on love and hip-hop she was very she was becoming very annoying to me in her scenes you know what i mean and i feel like at this point she needs to let nature take its course and if nature does not take its course where he starts to you know want her again sexually then at that point she may just need to move on but him saying that you know he'd be okay if he never had sex with her again that really didn't sit well with me I feel like okay well what's that supposed to mean does that mean that you don't want to be with her anymore are you no longer attracted to her because she has gained a lot of weight since having the baby you know she definitely has not snapped back like some of these people who run the social media which I respect I don't think that anybody should be trying to snap themselves back into what they were before they had a baby within two three weeks she's letting it happen naturally and I feel like because she is bigger than what she used to be that's definitely making her feel insecure and the fact that he literally does not want to touch her now he's saying this on the breakfast club that's not going to help either and maybe he's dealing with some erectile dysfunction I don't know but I'm tired of people acting like Joe Button is like just super old he's 38 years old it's not like he's 50 or 60 he can still get the shit up he's just choosing not to get the shit up and not to give her some of that damn peen he's a greedy son of a bee okay so I really feel like their whole dynamic has changed their roles have changed and she's too invested into his life and what he's doing I think she needs to find some business of her own I don't know what sin does besides jump from reality tv show to reality tv show I don't know she has a clothing line a hair I don't know what sin does I know what Joe does and I think because Joe's so busy and now he's so active and he's popping now and the roles are reversed because remember when they got together sin was the one who was popping he was the one that nobody was checking for and now that folks are checking for him and they're no longer really checking for her like that I think that's what's really causing conflict in their relationship you know what I'm saying and I think that she needs to find something outside of Joe something that's just about sin something that she can get into something that she can focus on that can keep her busy so then that way she can respect you know how hard he's working and how much he's grinding when you're just sitting around at home all day with the baby well you have a lot of idle time where he doesn't have that idle time so she keeps herself more busy then maybe at that point when they do finally decide to hook up it'll be a lot easier she won't want it as much but then I also think the fact that he's saying this means that he's looking at her like a baby mama and that he's not really turned on by her anymore and that he may be looking elsewhere and the fact that they bought the relationship to reality television that's a big no-no as we all know 
know reality television relationships do not last, period. I can see them breaking up after this show. I can see them, you know, going their separate ways and just co-parenting if things don't get better because once you start putting all your business onto reality television, you're letting entities come in to try and destroy your relationship. You're inviting all types of people to slide into your DMs and get in your ear. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how the relationship ends up playing out to see if they end up staying together. But I think that Sin needs to grow up a little bit and I think that Joe also needs to give a little bit. There has to be compromise in the relationship. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Joe Budden and Sin Santana and the lack of sex in their relationship. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.